Jones, it is time for the ROH World Title Matchup of the evening as Double C Claudio Castagnoli gets a great opportunity against the dominant ROH World Champion Takeshi Morishima. Last weekend we saw Claudio Castagnoli win the race to the top tournament and you know really showed he is a true main eventer here in Ring of Honor. He's coming into this match with a ton of momentum and he has his sights set on the world title but he certainly has his work cut out for him in Takeshi Morishima. We've seen so many wrestlers give such a good fight to Morishima and come up on the short end of the stick. Who is going to be the man to finally take the title away from Morishima? If anyone has momentum going into a title matchup, it is that man right there, Double C Claudio Castagnoli, the winner of the Race to the Top tournament. Uh, was able to defeat El Generico in the finals. Such a career matchup for both of those men really showing everyone in attendance as well as everyone in the locker room what they're capable of in professional wrestling. And Double C so proud that he won that tournament that he brought the trophy with him here tonight for his title match. Went for the vertical suplex on Morishima. Cordio, a very powerful athlete, but unable to get the champ off his feet. Todd Sinclair asking for a little bit of time for Castagnoli in the corner, but Morishima not giving an inch. Cartwheel into the avalanche in the corner. Go for the backdrop driver right away. But Tonio able to go down to a knee and block the attempt. And now a series of forearm strikes. Reversal of the Irish whip. Castagnoli ducks the elbow. Bicycle kick to the side of the head. Takes Morishima off his feet. And out to the apron he goes. Castagnoli here looking to fly perhaps. No, instead goes through the legs. He's looking for a power bomb off the apron. Able to avoid Morishima. All that weight would have come down on Castagnoli. European uppercut right between the shoulder blades. These fans here in Boston on their feet. Oh, elbow drop off the apron, onto the floor. Well, that's not something we normally see out of Claudio Castagnoli. It just shows you what he's willing to put his body through to become the world champion. A huge risk right there. Yeah, not, not a big risk taker out on the floor, diving off the apron usually is Castagnoli, but he's got to do whatever he can to weaken the world champion to the point that he could possibly take the championship from Morishima. The European uppercut to the back and rolls the champ back into the ring. Castagnoli follows him in. Going to pick the champ up off the canvas, turns him into the center of the ring, further away from the ropes before covering him and able to get a near fall. Castagnoli known to hit that European uppercut from several different positions. Trying to go for the giant swing! He's got him in the giant swing! Only able to get two! These fans brought to their feet the show of strength to elevate someone the size of Morishima up for the giant swing. It's incredible! He's going for the Ricola bomb. Well, he's trying to finish the champ off early. He was able to get him up for the giant swing, but not for the Ricola bomb. He lands on his feet. Ducks the clothesline off the ropes. Side slam. With all the momentum, he came off those ropes, but it was Morishima catching Double C and planting him in the middle of the ring. And now the world champion is in control. Oh, but still feeling the effect from that giant swing. All the equilibrium just completely thrown out of whack. He loses your balance, uh, but still able to connect with that side slam and now clubbing down on the back of the neck of Castagnoli. Back to the ropes, boot right to the face. But what an incredible show of power by Castagnoli that he was able to get, get the momentum, the strength and the momentum to swing Morishima around several times in the giant swing, it's incredible. Cordio is a gifted athlete, he spends a lot of time in the gym, obviously he came into this match probably in the best shape I've ever seen him in, he's probably you know eight or nine percent body fat, he's very well put together and it took a tremendous effort to get an athlete the size of Morishima off his feet. And now look at the champ just standing on the chest for a cover. Using his size to his advantage right there, putting all of his body weight on the chest, making it very difficult for Castagnoli to even catch a breath. Never mind even get back to his feet. Under the ropes goes Double C, close line from the champion. There's Brent Albright tomorrow night in Philadelphia. 
will get a world title shot against the winner of this matchup here this evening. Choking away now on Castagnoli. A little break before the count of five by Todd Sinclair. Well, Morishima's realizing firsthand just what kind of a competitor Castagnoli is. And if a choke takes away some of that strength, you know, he's got to do whatever he can to hold on to that belt. I talked about, you know, what kind of shape Castagnoli came into coming into this matchup. You know, I noticed a bit of a difference in the body size of Morishima as well. He's, le he's leaned out a little bit. Yeah, it looks like he's dropped about 10 to 15 pounds uh, coming into this weekend. A uh, you know, grueling schedule that the world champion has. And uh, it looks like Morishima's trying to pay a little more attention to conditioning because uh, he has just such brutal battles when the title's on the line. So he has Castagnoli in a seated position in that chair. And just drives all of his weight right into Castagnoli sandwiching him between his own body and that barricade. And you see Castagnoli gasping for air there. But yeah, Morishima, uh, the world champion, not only a regular competitor here in Ring of Honor, but of course he has obligations in Japan for Pro Wrestling Noah. That means that he has to, on a regular basis, make the travel, make that trip between Japan and the United States, suffering from jet lag on several different occasions. You know, wrestled for a couple of weeks on end in Japan before coming back to the States and having grueling matches. And just the physical matches that Morishima has to go through to defend the ROH world title, you know, it's starting to maybe take its toll on the man. Well, if he can make it through this weekend, uh, he'll, he's gonna pass the six month mark as world champion. You know, it's really a pivotal, pivotal benchmark uh, in the title reign, you know, your body starts to really hit the wall. Uh, we've seen it before with other champions here in Ring of Honor. You know, it's, it's quite a strain when you are uh, the champion of a company, you're carrying the company on your back. And again, like you said, the commitments that he has overseas requires such a great deal of travel between Japan and here. Uh, shows on the East Coast, you're looking at an 18-hour plane ride uh, before making it back to one coast or the other. So you know, just the travel involved takes such a toll on your body. Trying to weaken Castagnoli with this chin lock. Hanging in there oh, is Double C. Fans trying to get behind him to work his way out of the hole and back up to his feet. But he's starting to fade. Todd Sinclair checking on his condition, checking the arm. One more and this match is over. But no! Castagnoli still has some fight left in him. Oh, refusing to go down without a fight is Castagnoli, but a snap mirror by the champ. Sets Castagnoli in position and then drives all of his body weight down across the chest and the side of the head of Double C. Just bowling him over as he came off the ropes. And a lackadaisical cover from Morishima. You can see just how determined Castagnoli is to come out of this match with the world title. Digging down for energy and these fans in Boston getting behind Claudia. Another forearm shot, no effect whatsoever on Castagnoli, who's firing back with a series of European uppercuts to the chest of the world champion. Shot to the midsection, though, stops him. Off the ropes. Boot from Claudio, and another European connects. Forearm from the champ. Off the ropes. Drop kick by Castagnoli. Able to take him off his feet. Morishima to the floor. with such great impact on that dive that it separated the steel barricades after connecting with Morishima. Yeah, in fact, the one barricade that Morishima hit actually broke apart. Such impact from the weight of these two athletes. Castagnoli up to the top. Big elbow connects. Cover. Morishima able to get his shoulder up, but he does have the world champion down. Pulling him back to his feet, looking across those arms, going for the Ricola bomb once again. Does he have him summoned up enough to get it? Can't get it, but he rolls him in a pinning predicament. Tried to bridge over to keep those shoulders down, but didn't quite have 
the momentum necessary to take him over and keep those shoulders against the canvas. Oh, trying to elevate him for the Alpamari water slide. Oh, what strength! He got him! One, two, three. two and three quarters! Once again, Morishima able to get the left shoulder up. So very close, but Todd Sinclair right on top of things. It was only two. It was a very close call, but good officiating by the senior official here in Ring of Honor as Castagnoli with more European uppercuts for Morishima. Softens him up again as he brings him out of the corner, but reversed. Big boot! Big boot connects right on the side of the jaw of Castagnoli. And then lifts and rights in the corner, just boxing the ears and shoving down Todd Sinclair. Nobody gets in the path of the world champion. And he's going for the cover, but he just wiped out the official. No one's there to count. Todd Sinclair in the corner trying to recover as Morishima now goes to the outside. The big man is not afraid to take a chance. And he is all the way up top as Castagnoli is back to his feet. Missile drop kick. Only two. Claudio gets his shoulder up. Such impact on that missile drop kick flying. Off the top rope, connected full force with the chest of Castagnoli. But it's not enough to put him away. He's a very determined man here this evening. Audio off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Springboard European connects. Going for the recall bomb once again. He's got him up! Down out of the chest of Castagnoli, but only two! He's still in this match! But how much did that impact on his chest take out of him? Lariat! Cover by Morishima! Only two! That shoulder up once again! Now, Morishima didn't hook the leg that time, chose to just press the shoulders of Castagnoli down to the canvas, and Claudio with enough gas left in the tank to kick out, but can he get out of the backdrop driver? Able to grab hold of that second rope. Morishima getting a little frustrated, can't put him away. Is this grueling schedule beginning to take its toll on the world champion? Snap mare by the champion one more time. Morishima looking to go to the top. But Castagnoli up to his feet. And Zaguri running up the top. Great agility shown by Double C. Superplex possibly. in a better position to look at the shoulders of Morishima to see if they were down for three. Two and three quarters is about as close as you can get. But it was only two. He was finally able to hit the Ricola bomb after attempting it several times during the course of the match thus far. One, two and three quarters. Morishima gets his shoulder up. What does Claudio have to do to walk away with the title? He's fast taking it out on the official, but Claudio needs to get the job done. He needs to finish him off. Well, they want to see a title change right there, but it was not to be. Series of Europeans again. And a clothesline once again takes it right down. The champion backed into the corner. Big running boot. Cover. No, once again, Claudio able to get his shoulder up off the mat. Only two. Morishima's gone for the backdrop driver several times already. Each time, Castagnoli has been able to block the attempt. Duck of the clothesline, German suplex! Whoa! But Mar Morishima's right back up! Block the lariat! European cover! So close once again! 
What does Castagnoli have to do to put away Takeshi Morishima? Perhaps another Ricola bomb. Maybe that will finish him off. Perhaps with the momentum off the ropes of the European, but drives all his body weight into Castagnoli. Another lariat. Goes for the cover. Only two. Claudio keeps kicking out. He won't stay down. He wants to be world champ. Backdrop driver. Right on the back of his head. Shima coming down on the back of the head of Claudio Castagnoli was just too much. What an effort by Claudio Castagnoli. He came so close to winning the title. This has to be heartbreaking for him, but Morishima still stands as ROH World Champion. He's still got that belt in his teeth. And he will face a powerful and dangerous Brett Albright tomorrow night as part of Death Before Dishonor 5 Weekend in Philadelphia.